Okay, everybody, we are planting some sweet corn here tonight. We got little blue, and uh, it's been a, a rough day trying to get stuff ready. There's rain on the way, so I don't have a good camera here tonight. Sorry about that, but I wanted to get a little footage for you guys here. I'm going to turn you around. There's our little Johnny Deer Zero Planner. I do have the lids for it. I just leave them off so I can check the hoppers. And I'm going crooked. So, I don't remember the exact variety of sweet corn that we're planting. So when I get back and I need to fill the hoppers, I'll show you guys what we're, what we're putting in here. Um, the ground looks dry on top, but uh, it's just surface. If you go uh, down just a little bit, 16th of an inch, it's wet. So hang on, I gotta turn around. All right, we're back going the other way. Phone doesn't want to focus, so there we go. But uh, the ground's a little bit soft. I disked it over today to smooth it out. And uh, the seed's going a, about a half inch deeper than I'd like it to. Um, shooting for two inches, but it's, it's closer to two and a half, and there's not a thing I can do about it. I tried adjusting the planter, but it didn't didn't seem to do much of anything. And uh, you know, the ground just so soft from me working it over. But if I were to roll it or do anything with it to compact it, because it's so wet, like where the tire tracks are right there, it's almost solid as a rock after you drive on it. That's how wet everything is. I mean, you can kind of see the color difference there. So I don't dare roll it or do anything with it to get the fluff out of the soil. So we're just going with it and hoping for the best. But in such a small planting window. All right, got to turn around. So if you're curious what kind of planter this is, I have no idea. <laughs> To me, it looks like somebody took some old, they're the plate style, real old John Deere hoppers and put it on a toolbar, put two of them on a toolbar and made a planter out of it. There's no serial plate on it. There's no model number. It is what it is. It does a decent job. I can't ever seem to find the right seed plates for the seed. So, I mean, these plate planters aren't great anyway, but you know, a lot of times it's dropping two at once so I guess that ups the population huh now I'm gonna keep planting here for a little while and uh, when I get some more done and get near the bag of seed I'll show you guys what we're planting so there's our little rig I had to go get the bag of seed if anybody's wondering why the forks are on there well I didn't I just didn't take them off but I needed them <laughs> this planter was buried and I needed to move stuff to get in there um, this one's still got a decent amount in it. That one, it, one of them always drops more. It must be this one. I've replaced all the parts in here. The plates are the same. You know, I, I don't understand why it does that. But uh, here's the seed. Let me kind of lay the bag down. This is what we're what we're using here. Just so you have an idea there. Um, but uh, let me dump some more seed in there. Show you the back here. And we'll get back to planting. Well, I don't know how you guys uh, hold phones or cameras and film. Oh, there's a fly on me. I end up going crooked everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Sun's going down. And uh, it'll be dark by the time I get done here. So thanks for watching, everybody. Just a quick vlog style here. Kind of what's going on on the farm. Doing the planting there. You can sort of see the planter back there. <laughs> um, so anyway, please hit the subscribe button if you would. The bell icon. If you wouldn't mind doing a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And uh, any questions, comments, leave them down below. I always like to read those. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I sure hope to see you guys on the next video.